Okay. Okay, in this video I'm going to show you Answers 2000 uh, feedback form, which is actually a PHP email form or form mail script um, that is actually able to process any kind of form uh, on your website or websites. Um, you can have unlimited forms with unlimited number of fields in them. Whatever the user puts into the form is emailed to you at an address of your choice. Uh, now, a nice thing about this particular version uh, of uh, form mail, this particular PHP script, is um, first of all it includes validation functions to make sure the user enters the kind of data that you want input into your form. Um, secondly, it is um, completely secure. Unlike the standard um, form mail CDI script, it can't be used by spammers to send email to third parties. It will only submit, send the email um, to you with the content of your form. Um, and uh, as I say, it can handle an unlimited number of forms and an unlimited number of fields on the forms and with validation. Now, I'm looking at the um, demonstration uh, version of the script that's installed on the website, and the demonstration ver version has a number of different um, sample forms set up for me here. Feedback form, short version, feedback form, long version, postal address collection form, sales inquiry form, um, website problem form. So what we'll do is we will use the um, short version here, just for my demonstration. I'll click on that, and this will show me the form, example email form. Now, here's the form that it wants me to fill out in this example. Uh, it's asking for my name, email address, nature of your inquiry, and the comments or questions. So it's a typical type of um, form here that you might have on a website. Now, what you'll see it, though is um, if I, first of all, if I just try clicking it without clicking anything, it will say I must enter a value into the name field. So let's enter a name with we'll John Smith, as the example name. If I enter, click OK now, it will now ask me to enter a value for the email address because the validation is set up to say the email is a required field. Uh, I could type typing in John, but rather than typing in John Smith at AOL or whatever, I'll make a mistake. I'll just type in the at and press OK too early. It will say it must enter a valid email address. So if I put in John at AOL, for example, which might be a person's actual email address, um, it will accept that. And that will, um, it assumes here, because this is a drop down list, what the options are valid. Uh, and then here, uh, it's saying I must put in a comment or a question. So, for example, uh, some information that uh, a customer or a visitor might put into your website, saying um, you might, for example, says, uh, "Can I have one of your salespeople call me on what the number is, what the phone number is, four five six seven, something like that?" Yeah, somebody might put in that question into your website, uh, and then they would click. OK, and to submit that information to you. And the email is then forwarded to you and address your choice. Now, because this script is set up in uh, demonstration mode, rather than actually sending an email to a pre set up address, it will actually just display it on the screen. Uh, so if I click OK, this is the kind of email that would get sent. Here, first of all, it's sent to, and it's sent to an address of my choice. From an address of my choice, the subject line um, is again also configurable. Um, and then um, we have uh, the IP address of the person who submitted the form, and then we have the content of the form. Uh, you'll notice here it's also got the form name. That was a hidden field that was set up on the form. So you can have text fields, you can have um, drop-down lists, uh, and you can also have validation like the name and the email validated. So that's basically it. The script is called Answers 2000 Feedback Form. Uh, if you go to scriptrocket.com, you can find out more about what the script has to offer and why you should use it um, and you can try out more demonstrations as well hopefully uh, it's what you're looking for so go to the website scriptrocket.com uh, you can try it out and if you like it download it thank you very much